everybody, Randall Kennedy, Dallas Fort Worth Wildlife Control. I want to talk to you today about a phone call I got from a customer. She said she thought she had a rattlesnake. And uh, so I drove out there. When I was on the way out there, she sent me a picture. I couldn't really tell in the picture. It looked like a baby rat snake. Of course, rat snakes being non venomous. So I walk up to the snake and I take a glance at it. I can't see much of it. So I reach down, pin its head down, and grab it, and that's when I realized I grabbed a hold of a little rattlesnake. My Sasaga rattlesnake. Very, very venomous. Not really a big deal. I had a grip on the snake. And so I got the snake, put it in the barrel that I keep them in. Not a big deal. But on her Facebook, when she posted that asking for help, People were commenting that she had a bull snake, a rat snake, things like that that are non-venomous. And the problem with this is, is that there was a kid there. Looked like an early 20s, maybe teenage boy. And if he would have read that, you know, being a non-venomous snake and grabbed a hold of that snake thinking that it was non-venomous, it could have killed that boy. And so when y'all are on Facebook and y'all think you know what that snake is, if you don't know for certain, if you're not a wildlife specialist or a biologist, do not comment. Please don't comment. You can get somebody killed by saying the wrong thing. So don't, don't mention it. Don't comment about it. Let a professional handle it. Don't ever think you know what it is unless you absolutely know for certain what it is. I've been doing this a long, long time and even at first glance I thought it was a rat snake. So that that just shows you, you know, you can you can make mistakes and it, it can cost somebody their life. Y'all guys be careful out there. Visit our website www.dfwwildlife.com. Hey, thanks for watching.